in the crowd is calling me. I hear a tongue shriller than all the music cries. Caesar. Caesar is listening. Beware of the Ides of March! Who is that? A soothsayer bids you beware March 15th. Bring him to me. Let me see his face. You fellow, come forth from the crowd. Look upon Caesar. What say you now? Speak once again. Beware the Ides of March! He's insane. Carry on. Are you going to watch the race, Brutus? Not I. Come, please. I'm not intrigued in these sports such as Antony is. But don't let me keep you from going, Cassius. I'll be on my own way. Brutus, you've been acting strange lately. It's not your fault. I've just been uneasy with myself. These things, inner conflicts, keep jumping around my head. I sometimes forget I'm talking to a friend. Sorry, I have mistook your feelings and might have kept to myself some thoughts that I would have rather shared. Tell me, Brutus, can you see your face? No, Cassius, for the eyes, he's not itself, but by reflection, by some other things. It's too bad, though, that you cannot look upon yourself, noble Brutus, for you would see a man, even the greatest of Romans, besides immortal Caesar, speak about and respect greatly. They talk of the government's tyranny and how blind Brutus could be to it. Into what dangers would you lead me, Cassius? What are you saying? Good, Brutus. Since you see yourself best in reflection, let me be your mirror. I will show you that things inside you cannot see. Still, don't think of me as a fool or... Why do they shout so? I fear that they have crowned Caesar their king. You are afraid of that then? You don't want him to be king? I do not, though I do love Caesar like a father. Why are you still here, Cassius? What do you want of me? Brutus. I know you to be an honorable man, much so that you would even love honor more than you fear death. Would you do something, noble Brutus, that might seem cruel, but in reality would better the whole, whole of Rome? Cassius, what? Yeah. More applause. Perhaps Caesar has been awarded new honors. Why, man, he doth best stride the narrow world like a colossus, and we petty men walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. We are the masters of our own fates, Brutus, and this is our fault for letting Caesar be so high above us. Why should the name Caesar be more special than the name Brutus? I'm beginning to understand what you would want me to do. Allow me time in my home to think this over. I'm happy that my weak words have moved such as you. The games are done. Caesar's returning. Servius Gaius Lovus Quintilianus. Never mind. What is important is that you buy a toga for your pug. Look at him. Isn't he awesome? Shut up. Now I know what you're all saying. What if my pug's face is too fat for Servius' awesome pug toga? Well, too bad. You're getting one anyway. Now listen up, folks, because I'm going to strike a deal with you. You can buy one of my pug togas for 50 drachmas. That's 50 drachmas! Incredible! 50 drachmas! That's low, right? Well, however expensive it is, I mean, look at it. Totally worth it, right? I mean, <laughs> it's not a towel. But wait, there's more! No, there's not.